Hi, I'm Coach Leslie. And I'm Coach Andrea, and welcome to CLA Fitness Dryland Swim Routine. This is number two with dumbbells. Yes. So swimming, as many of you know, is technique driven, and it's sometimes hard to get to a pool. So we're creating some short routines that will help you uh, activate the muscles you use in swimming and become more efficient in the water. And just so you know, these exercises are beneficial regardless of if you're swimming or not. This is a full body strengthening routine. So we can get to it any time. If you're not sure how to, how to fit this in your routine or what's appropriate for you, please consult your coach. And for this routine, you need a mat, and then you'll need some dumbbells. Um, probably oh, a nice. couple different sizes. All right, let's get started, team. All right. First exercise we're going to do is a round the world squat with a dumbbell. So you're going to start by going into a squat with the dumbbell off to one side. You're going to do a slightly different angle. As you come up, you're going to engage your core. Come all the way around, come down, and then back up. And that makes one. So we just did two. That was it. This is two. <laughs> the squat, you're sitting back with your hips and keeping your back flat. What it is uh, flexibility, mobility in your hips about what your squat looks like. That's right. Resisting the weight on the way up and on the way down. You'll feel this through your core, kind of through those obliques, all those muscles on the side. Started with two heavy weights, you could always switch <laughs> it something lighter or heavier. You also don't actually need to use a weight at all. Right. So make this your routine for today. Two more each way. Remember to keep your knees over your feet, not letting them collapse in. As you come over the top, make sure you're not arching your back. And that's it. Oh, that's a good one to start with. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay, our next exercise is a mason twist or a Russian twist. There's lots of different variations, so we'll be showing you some of those. You lean back with your our body in a V, and holding a weight, and your back's nice and straight. Go to one side and on the other. And this is not just about setting your arms, it's actually about twisting at your waist. So your shoulders it doesn't have hand. to be a big motion. There are some variations if you want to make it a little harder, you can bring your feet up. If you want to make it harder still, you can go up into a V. You can also bring the weight out more. I'm going to keep it easier, thank you very much. <laughs> Use a lighter weight or a heavier weight or no weight at all. It is still a good exercise regardless. You want to make sure you feel this one in your core because it's easy to cheat with too heavy of a weight or too fast of a motion. Take that one more each way. Good. Right. For our next exercise, we're going to do a reverse fly. <laughs> Can you hand your hips? You can imagine hugging a tree. You're going to open your arms wide, cracking a walnut between those shoulder blades, and really resist the motion on the way down. It's really easy just to kind of flap your arms about, really make it about resisting on the up and on the down. We're using lighter weights for this one. It's <laughs> all about your shoulder muscles, and they are small muscles. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to start with an eye. We're going to do 10 of them. We're going to hinge this way. Arms are nice and straight. You're going to bring them up by your ears and resist the way down. And it seems like a really small little motion, but oh, it can get very tiring. And don't, it's the tendency is to really want to swing the weight, really resist both ways. Good. 
We're going to stay here and go straight into our T's. Your thumb is going to come up, come out to the side, and slowly back down. It's halfway, so we're going to return our weight so our pinkies go up for the next one. Different aspects of the shoulder muscles. Good, and from here we go into a Y. So just a little wider than shoulder width. Thumbs are up for this one. And as always, this position means you're also getting your glutes and your core, so yes, you are. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, three more. Perfect. Well done. Phew. Okay. Okay, we're going on to a plank series now, and we're going to start with a plank with a hip dip. For those of you that can't do a full plank, it's okay just to hold a plank and kind of work up to that. Even a plank from your knees is fine. For those of you strong enough, you're going to actually go into a full plank. And you're going to rock to the left and then to the right. Really thinking about using your obliques for the sides of your waist there to help bring you around. Your butt is not coming up in here. You're trying to maintain straight. And your head and your neck are in alignment. Relax to the shoulders. One more each way. Good. At any point, you can come down to your knees and take a break if you need to. I find this one hard because the floor is slippery where my feet are. So. Yeah. We're going to go on to a flutter kick on your stomach. Now, depending on your bow back, uh, you might have more flexibility or less flexibility. In Andrea's case, you can get both her arms and legs off the ground. For me, I'm going to keep my arms on the ground and just use my legs. I'm going to do 30 seconds. It really is just a flutter kick. So just moving your legs back and forth, keeping your core engaged. Letting your legs move through your hips, from your hips, I mean. And if you need to, you can put your hands kind of under your hip bones to get some support. Or even a towel or something like that. Oh, those are my shoelaces. Those are my shoelaces. <laughs> Keep swimming. There you go. There's your 30 seconds. All right. Then we're going to mimic that same motion, but in a plank. I do another 30 seconds, and this is thinking about that posterior chain. So lifting from your glutes, and just opposite, foot opposite. Continuing to breathe. Think about pulling that belly back into your backbone. If you need to be on your knees for that, this is fine. If you need more of a challenge, you can also raise your opposite arm, which I'm not going to show you because I'd fall over. <laughs> And you're not arching your back, you're keeping your core solid. Here's your 30 seconds. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to repeat the whole series now. Okay, our round the world squats. Back to it. Yes. Hinging Off to one the, side. Engine at the hips. Engine your core to come up and over. Keeping your knees properly lined over your, I mean, yeah, over your feet. I want to collapse, so make sure they're out. Resist on the way up and on the way down. Make sure you're not arching in your back as you come over the top. You're halfway.
Last one, both right. ways. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we can take it down for our mason yes. twist. Okay, back to our mason twist. Remember, this is about your core, not just about moving your arms. And twist to one side and the other. And I'm bringing my feet up this time and making sure not to let them move about. Have to hold a weight for this one. One more each way. Good. All right. Okay. And then we're going to come up to our reverse fly. Okay. Reverse flies. Yes. So we're going to hinge in our hips again. Hugging our tree, you're going to open wide and resist on the way down. This isn't about flapping your arms, you're not <laughs> trying to fly, for real. <laughs> resist the weight. Core engaged. Two more. The glutes engaged. Okay, we're going to switch our weights for an IT way. The little ones. Yay! <laughs> the same position. And then start going straight up by our ears for the eyes. Resist on the way down. Four. Got two more this way. Good. We're going to go into our T's with our thumbs up. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. If you're trying to hunch your shoulders up, it yeah, gets harder. Really you know. <laughs> Keep them down. Your ears really can't do the work. No. Good. And then switch to pinky up. You need to switch weights, that's always okay. Or don't even use the weights at all, because right. you'll still feel this one. Good, and then onto a Y. A little wider than should have been. Okay, thumbs up, resisting on the way down. Almost there, you got two more. Great job. All right. Woo. Okay, we're back down to the floor. Okay, we're gonna do our plank with a hip dip. Remember, you can always get the modified version of the plank. Can to start by dropping to our left. Not to the right. This doesn't need to be a huge motion. Ten each way. And again, staying relaxed through your shoulders. And your head and neck are in alignment with your spine. Last one. Good. Ah. Okay, flutter kicks. You can have arms down or up. We're going to go 30 seconds. Instead of looking forward, you should be looking down like you were in a pool, right? Got 10 seconds to go. You're not overarching your back. Exercise. Yay! You're gonna do a plank lift. 
We're back in the plank position. 30 seconds, alternating legs, keeping those hips down, everything nice in alignment. If you're tired and just need to hold the plank, that's fine. Your body is not rocking from side to side. Hips are solidly square. Hold on to it, you got this. 10 seconds. Good, and come on down. Phew, great job. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and we'd love it if you subscribe. And See share our channel too. That's right. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Water. Boy, that was a pretty good one though. Yeah, it is.